Seven million dollars will be awarded to a man who suffered life-changing injuries when he was wrongfully tasered last year by a police officer in Idaho Springs. Today, our Mountain Newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson talked with the man's family and their attorney. They say they want more than this financial settlement from the Idaho Springs Police Department. The big takeaway from Michael Clark's family and attorneys is this. Yes, the money will help with his new 24 seven needed care as well as hospital bills, but something needs to change in Clear Creek County as well as in Idaho Springs in terms of policing. May 30th, 2021, Officer Nicholas Hanning hit 75 year old Michael Clark with a taser while he was standing unarmed in his boxers in his own home. After a stroke caused by the incident, Clark is now unable to care for himself. He wasn't able to come to the news conference today, but his attorneys read his statement. I lost everything. They took everything from me. I lost my whole life. Money will never repay what they took. But maybe this much money will make them think about doing this to someone else. The simple fact is, the night before Memorial Day 2021, my father was brutally attacked by a member of the Idaho Springs Police Department as another officer let it happen. Officer Hanning was fired and the other officer involved no longer works there. The Idaho Springs Police Department lays the blame solely on Hanning. Quote, the actions of former officer Hanning are not reflective of the culture of our organization. Clark's attorney and Clark's daughter disagree. It becomes very clear that this is a systemic problem. I mean, it's easy to put it on officer Hanning. And, and to be honest with you, prior to all this, we were very angry. But we see a bigger picture now. And, and yes, it, it's very infuriating to know that they still are not taking accountability. They point to cases like this summer with Christian Glass, where Clear Creek County Sheriff's deputies shot and killed the young man after he called 911 for help when his car got stuck. I, I wish that what happened to dad, as horrible as it is, would have brought change sooner and prevented things like that. And, and I hope that it prevents future, but it's, you know, dad lost a lot, but they lost more. They're calling for change on a statewide scale. Until we stop treating these serious actions, as a simple mistake and handing out slaps on the wrist, we will continue to have press conferences like this. In Idaho Springs, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. We first reported the massive settlement on CBSColorado.com, and that's where you can email Spencer. If you have a good story idea, he'd love to hear about it. Spencer Wilson dedicated to covering the stories that matter to the communities in the Colorado high country.